Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can enable physics for our objects in Unreal and also how we can control their behavior. Here I have these uh, spheres which have uh, physics enabled and I also have this cube here. We will look at how we can enable physics, how we can control their settings and also uh, how we can add this to the level sequencer and have these in our movies and animations so let's jump right in and see how it's done all right this is actually a very simple and straightforward process just drag any object you want into the level and here in the details tab you have these physics options hit simulate physics and keep the gravity on and now you can see that it will drop to the ground here as you can see we have a couple of settings that enable us to control the behavior of the object for example if we bump up the mass it will be heavier and harder to move let's uh, set it back to 100 and another very useful setting is this linear damping uh, when you bump it up you can see that the object will stop as soon as i stop uh, pushing it but uh, if we set a very low value like uh, 0.01 you can see that when i stop pushing it it will still keep going Here, if we disable gravity, the physics will still work, but uh, it will work without the gravity. So it will not drop to the ground, but if I touch it, I can uh, still uh, make it move. Here in the constraints tab, you can uh, lock the position in X, Y, and Z axis. For example, if I lock it in the Z axis, It will keep moving in the X and Y axis and it's not going to uh, go upwards or downwards. Obviously you can uh, lock the other axes as well and just keep it in a straight line. We can also lock the rotation as well, but uh, this is a sphere and we cannot see the rotation. So let's add a cube, uh, simulate physics, and for example, lock the rotation around the X and Y axis. Let's also uh, disable gravity and also lock it uh, to the Y axis for its position. Now when I play, you can see that it's only moving around the axis that I uh, didn't lock and also the position is controlled by uh, these values here. This setup can be used when you want to have simple movable objects in your levels. There are other ways to set this up. For example, you can use blueprints and animation blueprints and tracks to make movable objects, but this is a very simple and actually a very lazy way to do it. And if you just want to set up a very simple system as fast as possible, you can use this method. There are more options here as well, but uh, they are advanced options and uh, they do not have use cases in a lot of scenarios. So I'm not going to cover them in this video, but another thing I want to talk about is uh, how to enable the physics in our level sequencer. Here I have this sphere and I have enabled physics and again, as you can see when I simulate, it will drop to the ground like this. But here in the level sequence, it's not going to work like that. Here I have a level sequence and I have this camera inside it. And here if I hit play, nothing happens. 
in order to activate our physics uh, in the level sequence what we need to do is to just uh, add this actor uh, to our level sequence we don't need this transform let's delete it and here uh, hit track and add the static mesh component now select the static mesh component go to the track and here uh, in the body instance go to physics and simulate physics now you can keyframe the simulation for example here let's add a key turn this off and for example after 30 frames add another key and turn this on now it's going to work we need to hit simulate and after we play this it will simulate the physics for us Keep in mind that uh, if you want to see the simulation uh, in your viewport, first you need to simulate and then play it. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. Here as you can see without uh, simulating it and playing it, you can see that nothing will happen. This is when you want to uh, see it in your viewport, but if you render this in your movie render queue or uh, in the movie scene capture legacy you don't need to hit simulate you can just uh, render your sequence and you will have the simulation in your final render you can also use a uh, movie render queue if you have the plugin enabled the final thing I want to mention is that I have a video about uh, simulating ropes using this cable actor in Unreal. Here as you can see I can uh, have this rope using this cable actor and if you want to know how to set this system up you can just watch this video here. The thing here is that I didn't explain how we can have this system work in level sequencer. All we need to do here is that you need to add the sphere to the level sequence and that's it. You need to just add the static mesh, simulate physics, keyframe it and it will work. You don't need to add the cable actor to the level sequence. Here as you can see I can hit simulate and when I play I can have this physics for my rope and also for the sphere. So all you need to do is to just do the process that I explained for the sphere and you will be good to go. Here let's uh, capture a movie. And yeah, as you can see, it's working perfectly. Yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you learned something new from this tutorial, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.